Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you how to put a hitch kit on a Hustler Raptor zero turn lawnmower. Let's get started. I'll leave a link below where you can get a hitch kit. Comes with the um, comes with the instructions. This is hitch kit part number one two seven one five six. It's the actual Hustler kit. Comes with a spacer plate and. the hitch itself. You're going to need a 7 16 wrench, a half inch wrench, and a T27 Torx bit. We have to take this logo cover off. We have to take this lower uh, cover off. So you got your Torx bits here, or your Torx screws here, and on the back side is the nuts and these are carriage bolts um, and inside the rear back here is uh, a couple of half inch nuts and then you got to take the bolt nuts and bolts off behind here to mount the hitch to you definitely want to make sure that the muffler is cooled off that the motor and the muffler are not hot before you do this because you're going to be working around the muffler so you take your 7 16 wrench on the back of uh, these Torx heads you got a washer on there so don't drop that put that back on there for safekeeping set it up here take out the other screw and remove the logo plate these nuts are 7 16 now we need to remove this muffler guard by taking out these two carriage bolts You'll need your half inch wrench. You'll use these nuts and bolts when we go to reinstall the hitch. This plate, spacer plate, comes with the hitch and it goes where the muffler guard was. I'm actually not going to use it because the thickness of the spacer plate is exactly the same as the muffler guard. And I'd rather have the muffler guard on the mower. So I'm going to show you how to reuse it. Next, we take these four bolts out of the engine guards. You need two half inch wrenches or a half inch wrench and a half inch socket. As you take both bolts out of one each side of the guards, be a little careful because they'll have a little tension on them and you may have to push on it to get the bolts out. Now we're going to take the hitch itself. You'll see he's got four holes at the top of it. Those line up with the four holes on the engine guards. And then the two holes at the bottom line up where the uh, muffler guard goes. And we'll use the same bolts that came out of the mower from the engine guards and the uh, muffler guard. So just line that up. Get one in there. You could go ahead and get a nut started on the back if you don't want it to fall off. Or you could just line up and get a few of them in there whichever works for you. I'm going to get both the top bolts lined up to get the engine guards in position, then put the two bottom engine guard bolts in and uh, that'll line that up. Go ahead and get nuts started on the back of the bolts, but don't tighten them up yet because we need to get the two bottom bolts and the muffler guard in place first. So I'm just getting uh, nuts started on the back of each one of them. Then take the muffler guard, line it up in the same place that it was in originally, and you can use the same carriage bolts that came out of it. Get them through there, lining that up. Carriage bolts will have a square shoulder on them. That goes into that square hole. You want to make sure that it goes fully in there, otherwise you won't, uh, the bolt won't tighten up properly. Get a nut start on the back of each one of those. Then go ahead and tighten up both of those nuts now these top four you're going to need an extension on your ratchet because of the flanges that are on the hitch then you want to get them snug and then tighten them to 20 foot pounds of torque you can't reuse the logo bracket because it won't fit over the hitch so i just put the screws and the nuts in it for safekeeping 
that's about it. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless you.